In just the last few years, you've seen how I built a complete 11 channel Dolby Atmos home theater from scratch and a crazy 9 channel Dolby Atmos gaming room with an 85 inch 4K display. I've given you build videos for acoustic panels, subwoofers, a fiber optic star ceiling, and how to improve the contrast of your home theater room using black velvet. I don't normally get ahead of myself like this, but there is a new project on the horizon that I want to share with you. I'm going to tackle the most complicated and misunderstood aspect of home audio, a basic two-channel stereo system. Will it be audiophile? Eh, maybe. My audio goals for this room is pure stereo playback from high resolution digital sources and vinyl for when I'm feeling groovy and because LP packaging is still the best. Files on my media server will range from uncompressed CD rips all the way to 24-bit 192kHz master audio recordings obtained from various online digital stores. File formats will be FLAC and variants of direct stream digital. These high definition audio files will be accessed and played back directly through the receiver using the HEOS app. I can navigate the network share either through the receiver's on-screen menus or the HEOS app on a mobile device. At first, I thought I needed to build another space for this audio room using the unfinished part of my basement. The door would need to be put into this wall going straight to the listening room on the other side. The workable area is around 14 feet by 15 feet. I'd have to frame it out, run power, install drywall, all of that. But if I use this spot, I would have nowhere to work on other things, so maybe not a good idea. Plus, I don't have the budget or the time to actually go through with it. However, I can repurpose a room in the house that's used for storage and doubles as a guest room. It's technically a den, but when we moved in, random things were left in here that had nowhere else to go in the house. As you can see from this digital mock-up, the room will be cleared out and painted. We're thinking gray with black trim, but that may change. I'll likely get a turntable stand of some sort, a few decorations, and some serious tower speakers. Acoustic panels will surround the room and a new how-to video for those will make it onto the channel in the future. I'm thinking acoustic black fabric right now, but printed art on cotton hasn't been rolled out yet. The window will be treated with something to dampen sound, likely thicker mini blinds and sound blocking curtains. This room is currently a guest room and will still need a futon or pull out sofa bed of some kind. A quiet ceiling fan will be needed because there's no doubt it will get warm in here. After researching turntables, it was pretty clear there are three tiers for price and quality. There's cheap, better, and best. Being that I don't want cheap entry-level stuff, tier 2 starts at around $500 for mid-range or entry-level audiophile quality. And in that price group, only two turntables under a grand seem to come up the most often. The Fluence RT85 with the Ortophone 2M Blue cartridge and acrylic platter, and the Project Debut Carbon Evo with carbon fiber tone arm equipped with the Sumiko Rainier cartridge. Both seem to be at the top of their game quality-wise in that price range and should be more than enough for now. I still have to make a final decision even though I'm leaning towards the Fluence. Next up is the Marantz SR5015 AVR. Typically in a two-channel system, you would buy two-channel hardware as in separate processor and amplifier. Not only do they have more features, most audio video receivers contain the same processing for high resolution audio as their more expensive separates. Unless something better comes along at a lower price, I am sticking with the model SR5015 for now. If you already know this channel, then you've seen the Klipsch House video showing how all the speakers in my home are Klipsch, 34 in total. If you missed it, go check it out for a new definition of OCD. I'm deliberately moving away from Klipsch for this music room because I want all new and different things in here. At the time of this video, I decided to focus on the SVS Ultra Series Towers. I almost bought them a few years ago, and now that I'm moving away from Klipsch, it's time to get them. I am not completely locked into anything yet. I still have time to fine tune the equipment list and take recommendations from the community. Based on the size of the room, I don't know for sure if I need a subwoofer, but if I do, 
it will be a pair of SVS SB2000 Pro subwoofers. I just can't not have subs in pairs anymore. I listen to a mix of classic rock, electronic, and metal, so I expect some chest thumping going from ported subs to sealed. I trust those 2000 Pros will deliver. So there you have it. I'll post progress updates as meaningful things happen. There is no set timeline and I have a tight budget, so acquisitioning things will take a while. Be patient, the videos will come. Thanks for watching.